Hello and welcome. This is Zoe Gold and Awaken the Truth Within. Welcome, welcome. So let's talk about um, some other patterns that are preventing you from getting where you want to be in your finances, in your goals, in your results, in your business, in your career, and anything else. So another thing here to know is, well, first of all, it's good to know that you have a guidance system within you, and it's your feelings. It's the way you feel. Now, whenever you focus on something, whenever you give your attention to something, whenever you think about something, it produces a certain amount of feeling within you. So you focus on something, uh, you give it a particular meaning because of your inner beliefs and other things and data that you gathered throughout the physical path. And the feeling is an interpretation of your thought. So the better you feel, the closer you are to the good that you desire, to who you really are, and to the source of everything there is. And the worse you feel, those negative emotions that you feel, that means that you're actually moving away and stepping back and going to the opposite direction from what you want. So your guidance system actually shows you the quality of your thoughts, the quality of your focus, the quality of the meaning you give to things. Where do you usually spend your time in your thoughts, in the pictures that you see in your head, whether you think about present, future, past, and whatever that is. So ne there is nothing wrong with negative emotions. Negative emotions are neither bad or good. And actually, they are kind of good as well because it's your guidance system working very, very well and is showing you that you're actually moving away from what you want. So you can truly shake it out, realign, and start focusing on what you actually want and moving towards it. And your guidance system will show you that you're getting closer, you're getting closer, you're getting closer. Now, another thing that is pretty important is momentum. And, oh, actually, before we get to momentum, there is one more thing that I want to mention here is um, um, every subject has two aspects to it, positive it's wanted, and negative, it's unwanted. And the questions that I often, um, uh, that, that people ask me often, whether it's my clients or the, uh, in the audience, they ask me, okay, now I get it. This is my goal. This is what I want. And I focus on it all the time. So I want more money, or I want this amount of money per month, or I want my business to do this and that and that. And I, and I think about money all the time, but why money is not coming? Like what's going on here? And I answer, what are you focusing on? So when you look at the subject of what you want, let's say, for example, money, financial freedom, are you focusing on lack of it, the negative side, or are you focusing on positive side, feeling from the state of dream fulfilled, feeling from, from how joyous it is, assuming the beingness of abundant, wealthy person who you really are, because truly spirit cannot be poor. Who you truly are cannot be poor, cannot be miserable, cannot be bad. That's not who you really are, right? So are you focusing on that? Are you focusing on that positive aspect of how joyous it feels to have this amount of money, to have this business, to have this beauty in your life? Are you focusing on who you truly are, who you know, your worthiness, the worthiness that is not connected with anything else, the one that you find in your essence that comes from the source, that is you, that is who you really are, and that comes from that infinite intelligence, you can call it God, source, um, higher being, whatever that is, that's coming from that connection, as you're being part of this infinite whole. Or you're focusing on lack of what you want, on lack of money and beating the drum of it. And on lack, you don't know when, you don't know how, it's not here, you're struggling, you feel lack, 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 lack. Where is your attention? Where is your dominant emotional home, your dominant focus on this particular subject? Is it in negative side or aspect of it or positive? Plus, wanted. 
and want it from a position of I have it, enjoying it, enjoying and being the state of dream fulfilled, state of the answered prayer. Most of the time. And now there comes momentum that I wanted, wanted to mention a bit earlier. It's um, momentum is uh, about focus. What are you focusing on, whether on the, this negative aspect of the subject or positive aspect of the subject, and whether it is actually dominant, because what many people do, they practice something, they listen to a podcast, they go to an event, they read a book, they do visu visualization, they, they whatever, right? And they somehow put themselves in this state of dream fulfilled for like 30 minutes, and then they spend the next 23 and a half hours in... I don't have enough, how it's going to happen, where I'm going to get it, it's not working, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it. And then they wonder why nothing changes when everything changes constantly and all the time, but it actually is changing to, well, to, to the same thing because they're focusing on lack of it. So it's m momentum is about focus, it's about what are you focusing on consistently and where are you, where is your dominant um, thought, focus and emotional home. So I hope this helps and I will talk to you in our next podcast. So have an amazing day and bye now.